has been all jumbled up? See if you can work it out. He looks very colourful. He's very funny. Maybe he's a clown. Have you guessed? It's Mr Tumble. Well done. going to absolutely love this number at the concert tomorrow night. Dragon Mountain will be rocking. Come on, gang. Let's keep practicing. <laughs> What's wrong, Nib? I tried to sing, but my throat is sore. But we have to practice for the concert tomorrow night at Dragon Mountain. I know, Oggy, but I can't. <laughs> it's coming from outside. Look high in the sky! It's Cyril the Dragon! Good afternoon. Just popped by to remind you about the concert tomorrow evening at Dragon Mountain. I'll see you there. Bobby, bye. Bye! Bye! Oh, we'll have to practice straight away. But I can't sing. <coughs> I don't feel very well. Oh. <coughs> Oh, I feel a bit hot too. Oh dear, you must be ill. Yes, I must be. Oh. Oh dear, poor Nib. She doesn't sound at all well. I wish we knew what we could do to help her feel better. There are things you need to see, so you should take a look through me. Sometimes, you need to go to the doctor when you're not feeling very well. Hello, is Ellis here? That doctor looks really nice and friendly. Ellis is going to the doctor because he's feeling ill. Oh dear, so you've got a poorly ear, have you, Ellis? Do you mind if I have a look in your ear? But Ellis doesn't mind going to the doctors because he knows she can help him feel better. Am I looking the other side now? Is it feeling a bit sore at all or are you all right now? A bit sore. OK, I'm going to have a good look down. What's she throat. doing now? She's looking inside his throat. Good. Open wide, Ellis. That's funny. Ah! <laughs> good boy. That's fantastic. That's lovely. And now the doctor is feeling his neck to make sure everything's good. fine. That's there. All finished. Okay, the bye doctor bye. thinks Alice will soon be feeling better. Bye then. See you again. But if you're feeling unwell, you don't always need to go to the doctor. Here's VJ, and he's not feeling very well. Oh dear, what's wrong? He has a cold. If you have a cold, it's important to keep warm and to have plenty of rest. A warm drink can help, too. Mmm, that looks nice. <coughs> oh, dear. Why is he using a tissue? Uh -uh. To stop other people from catching his cold. Then you can throw the tissue in the bin. VJ's use lots of tissues. We must get Nib to use tissues, too. VJ looks nice and comfy in his pyjamas and blanket. And Mum is giving him lots of love, too. Aww. 
Remember, when you sneeze, it's best to use a tissue and then throw it away. Now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. There you are. Are you comfy? Yes. Thank you, Bobbin. Are you feeling any better, Nib? Yes. Thanks, Oggy. I feel a bit... Uh, uh, uh. Here, use a tissue, Nib. <sighs> then maybe Bobbin and I won't catch your cold. Thank you. I'll go and make you a nice warm drink. Go, Nib. I'm sure you'll feel better soon. This warm drink should help. I hope so. We've almost run out of tissues. I hope so too, or I won't be able to sing at Dragon Mountain tomorrow. Oh, that sounds like Cyril again. I wonder what he wants now. It must be about the concert. A good day to you once again. Unpleasant news, I fear. The concert is going to be next week, not tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll be better by then. Nib has got a cold, you see. But, um, excuse me, um, um, uh, Cyril, but why has the concert been delayed? Because all the dragons have colds, too. Listen. <laughs> well, I hope they've got a big box of tissues! <laughs> when you sneeze, 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 we would like to say Use a tissue, please, then throw it away Excuse me, please. Oh, dear Nip. Oh, poor you. I sneeze into the tissue. That's what I do. Etchu, etchu, etchu. Excuse me, please. Etchu. Oh, dear Cyril. Oh, poor you. I sneeze into a tissue. That's what I do. Etchu, etchu. Excuse me, please. Achoo! Oh, dear me. Oh, poor you. I sneeze into the tissue. That's what I do. When you sneeze, 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 we would like to say, use a tissue, please, then throw it away. What to do with your old cardboard? You'll need a recycling box and some cardboard. One. All sorts of things come in cardboard containers. Cereal. Milk. And juice. But what do you do with all the empty containers? Two. Separate any plastic from the cardboard. These can all go into the plastic recycling box. Three. Make sure all your cardboard is nice and clean. Thank you, Arwenna. Oh, and Oscar too. Four. Time to reduce your cardboard by squashing it as flat as you can so it takes up less room in the recycling bins which means fewer trips for the recycling lorries. Five. Now your cardboard is ready to be recycled. I wonder what it will be turned into. Maybe some more milk or juice, a washing powder box, or brand new pasta boxes or even some new cardboard tubes. That 
that's what you do with your old cardboard. Thanks, guys. Long ears, a little pink nose, a red, a blue, a yellow top, and he just loves to draw. Hello, Louie! Oh, hello, my friends! When I colour in, the magic will begin. Hello! And together we'll make the picture come real. Draw us a picture, Louie! How's it going? Come and draw pictures with brand new Louie, weekdays at 10 past 10 on CBeebies. Hi! Welcome to Underneath the Leaf. Playing today's game, give her a warm welcome, everybody. It's Kerry! Hi, Kerry. Thanks for playing Underneath the Leaf. Now, here in the Discover and Do Garden, we have three very special leaves. OK. And here they are. One, two, three. Wow. Now, your challenge is this. You must guess which leaf Iggle Piggle is underneath. You can join in at home, too. Your time starts now. Um, which leaf is Iggle Piggle under? Um, one, no, um, maybe three. Um, I'm going to go for two. I'm going to go for two. Two, everybody. She said two. Let's have a look underneath leaf two. Oh, it's Macapaca. It's Macapaca. Let's have a look.